Oh, boy. <laughs> what? I can't comment without violating our agreement that I not criticize your work. <laughs> then what was oh, boy? Great restraint on my part. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with the science here. Perhaps you mean a different thing than I do when you say science. <laughs> Okay, how's that? You actually had it right in the first place. <laughs> Once again, you've fallen for one of my classic pranks. <laughs> Bazinga. <laughs> They're called tattoo sleeves, look. <laughs> yeah, I bought them online, Raj got a set too. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Right? Put them on, have hot sex with some freaky girl with her business peers, take them off, and I can still be buried in a Jewish cemetery. You know, I've always wanted to go to a goth nightclub. Really? Bazinga. <laughs> None of you ever see my practical jokes coming, do you? Okay. Oh my gosh, she did it. <laughs> what could she possibly be talking about for so long? Obviously, waitressing at the Cheesecake Factory is a complex socioeconomic activity that requires a great deal of analysis and planning. <laughs> Bazinga. I do, however, have a few conditions. First, at all times, I'm to be treated as a colleague and an equal. Second, my contributions shall be noted in all published materials. And third, you are never allowed to lecture me on Hinduism or my Indian culture. I'm impressed, Raj. Those are very cogent and reasonable conditions. Thank you. I reject them all. <laughs> then you leave me no choice. I accept the job. <laughs> I'm sorry. I believe you've misunderstood. I'm not giving you the job. I'm simply affording you the opportunity to apply for it. <laughs> Have a seat. We'll get started with the interview. What? You're kidding. Please. <laughs> All right. So. <laughs> that's what you wear to an interview? <laughs> Come on, dude, we've been friends for years. Oh, pulling strings, are we? <laughs> Sheldon, for God's sakes, don't make me beg. Bazinga. <laughs> You've fallen victim to another one of my classic practical jokes. <laughs> I'm your boss now. You may want to laugh at that. <laughs> How do you get into this place? Back door has a five-pin tumbler system, single-circuit alarm, child's play. <laughs> you can start sorting protons and neutrons while I build carbon atoms. No, I don't think so. We need to go home now. But I'm still working. If you don't come out of there, I'm going to have to drag you out. You can try, but you'll never catch me. Thanks. Just come here! Bazinga. 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 <laughs> Bazinga. 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 I'm ready. <laughs> right. Ladies and gentlemen, our guest of honor, Dr. Sheldon Cooper. Thanks, Jordy. I'll take it from here. <laughs> All right. You people ready to have some fun? You have a basic understanding of differential calculus and at least one year of algebraic topology? Well, here come the jokes. <laughs> Why did the chicken cross the Mobius strip? To get to the same side. Bazinga! <laughs> Neutron walks into a bar and asks, how much for a drink? The bartender says, for you, no charge. <laughs> Hello.
I know you're out there. I can hear you metabolizing oxygen and expelling carbon dioxide. For your information, I'll be playing host to Dr. Elizabeth Plimpton. The cosmological physicist from Princeton? Yes. And until you acquire a surgical mask, please address your comments to me through a napkin. <laughs> We've been corresponding for years about our mutual interest in gravitational wave signatures of inflatons in the early universe, and now she's under consideration for a position at our university. Why didn't you tell me you knew Elizabeth Plimpton? I am a huge fan of hers. I didn't realize I was obligated to share my connection with things you're a fan of, but very well. You enjoy Canadian bacon? I've been to Toronto. <laughs> Okay, fine. Where is she gonna sleep? My room, of course. Holy crap! <laughs> Holy crap! Okay, um, I have a two-part question. Go ahead. A, are you kidding me? And B, seriously, are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> a, I rarely kid. And B, when I do kid, you will know it by my use of the word bazinga. <laughs> so you're saying the two of you are going to be sleeping in the same bed? Yes. Bazinga. <laughs> I don't understand why you're not enjoying this. Together in this car with my enhanced capabilities, we're like Knight Rider. Except in Knight Rider, the car isn't a yammering sphincter. You mock the sphincter, but the sphincter is a class of muscle without which human beings couldn't survive. <laughs> Over 50 different sphincters in the human body. How many can you name? I was wrong. This is exactly like Knight Rider. Perhaps you'd be interested in a different game. No. This is a photograph of the 1911 Solvay Conference on the theory of radiation and quanta. Using Photoshop, I've introduced a few anachronisms. See if you can spot all 24. I'll give you the first one. Madame Curie should not be wearing a digital watch. And go. That's it. Bye bye. Bazinga! I have an override switch. I almost died. And I'm safe and sound in bed. Who's crazy now? I'm still gonna go with you. I honestly didn't believe Amy when she told me she had a boyfriend. I assure you I am quite real, and I'm having regular intercourse with your daughter. What? Oh, yes. We are like wild animals in heat. It's a wonder neither of us has been hurt. Amy, what is he saying? You wanted me to have a boyfriend, Mother. Well, here he is. <laughs> Have to sign off now. My hunger for Sheldon is stirring in my loins. Oh, yes. It's time for me to make love to your daughter's vagina. <laughs> Thank you, Sheldon. That went very well. Agreed. Amy, I find myself wondering if we should actually engage in coitus at least one time in our relationship. Bazinga. <laughs> Bedtime, please show yourself out. <laughs> Bazinga, punk, now we're even. Does anyone have any words they'd like to say about a man of the evening? Yeah, I do. Uh... As is the tradition, I prepared a series of disrespectful jokes which generate humor at Howard's expense. Prepare to have your ribs tickled. <clears throat> Howard, I always thought you'd be the last one of us to ever get married because you are so short and unappealing. Am I right? <laughs> Let's see here. Oh, seriously though, Howard, you're actually one of the most intelligent people I know. And that's a zinger, because you're not. <laughs> I've always thought that you'd make someone a fine husband someday, assuming you'd be able to get the parts and develop the engineering skills to assemble them, which I don't see as likely. Hacha! <laughs> okay, let me see. Yeah. Okay, kidding aside, Howard, you are a good friend, and I wish you nothing but happiness. Bazinga, I don't. <laughs> 
Sheldon. Double bazinga, I do. <laughs> Good luck following that. <laughs> I've invented a science joke. Would you like to hear it? Sure. How many Edisons does it take to screw in a light bulb? How many? Who cares? He stole the idea and doesn't deserve his own joke. <laughs> Is that really true? Of course. That's how you know it's a good joke. It not only entertains, it informs. <laughs> hey, sorry to interrupt. Yeah, Barry, uh, how many Edisons does it take to screw in a light bulb? Did you know Edison didn't actually invent the light bulb? <laughs> what do you want, Barry? <laughs> Just wanted to drop this off as a little thank you for Amy. Well, what's this for? Your idea really helped me out. My white cone quantization paper's online already. The response has been amazing. Well, that's fascinating. I can't wait to read it. Yo, no, me as well. Uh, please email it to sheldon at bazinga.biz. <laughs> Why dot biz? Because I just gave you the business. <laughs> and also bazinga.com was taken. <laughs> As you know, I'll be celebrating Amy's birthday with her, and I could use your assistance in helping me select the perfect gift. Sure. Well, so far, I've come up with three ideas. The first is a chance for her to play the harp with the L.A. Philharmonic. Wow, you can really arrange that? No, well, I said a chance. You know, when you tell them it's your birthday at Bennigan's, they make a fuss. I don't see why the Philharmonic would be any different. <laughs> How about something a little more realistic? Well, Amy enjoys knitting her own sweaters, so I was thinking of getting her an all-expense-paid trip to the Wisconsin Sheep and Wool Festival. Sorry, I was waiting for the bazinga. Yeah.